A Little Rock business owner says she's left with questions, a lot of them, after a coffee shop catches fire in southwest Little Rock. Now believing that she was targeted because both of her stories went up. Yeah, our, Jess stores, rather. our Jessica Ring joins us live from the Grind Coffee Bistro on 21st and Commerce. And Jessica, as Bob mentioned, the owner says this is not the first time this has happened. Yeah, Laura and Bob, well, it was definitely a shock for owner Heaven McKinney when she got that phone call and found her bistro looking like this. You guys can see this location is a complete loss. Some of the side windows as well as the front windows are out at this point. But like you guys said, this wasn't the first piece of bad news the owner received that day. Charred wood and tattered walls. A Little Rock business now in pieces. A lot of things went through my mind is like who could have done it or what could have done it. Today, Heaven McKinney walks a very different coffee shop. This location opened just a year ago. It's taken a lot to keep back the tears because, I mean, anytime you put your everything into something, it's pretty hard. McKinney says she got the call late Thursday night. The Grind Coffee Bistro on Commerce up in flames questions started rolling in. We locked up like normal. This is where she was just hours prior. Her other shop location in West Little Rock. We opened April of 2018 out in Pleasant Ridge. The kitchen there also on fire. It was just it was just devastating. McKinney says she went through every possible cause for the flames. To always make sure things are turned off, things are unplugged, lights are turned off. Nothing was adding up. When I knew that I went through my routine, I knew that it couldn't be me. McKinney says she believes she was targeted. To know that me and my family put so much into the businesses to know that someone would do something like this to me. It was just really devastating more than anything. The Little Rock Fire Department now conducting an investigation. McKinney says until she gets answers, the best thing she can do is focus on moving forward. We're just going to keep on moving. Now, McKinney says her West Little Rock location didn't suffer that much damage, and she's lucky that she'll be able to reopen that in the next couple of weeks. But this location on Commerce, a complete loss. She says she will have to rebuild, which could take months and even years. But overall, she says she's lucky no one was inside and everyone is safe. Live in Little Rock, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.